What's up, sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel. It's time to continue our 2023 schedule preview and projected records for the 2023 college football season. We continue them with the BYU Cougars. BYU finished with an overall record of 2022 with 8 and 5 overall in the 2022 season and 8 and 4 in the regular season last year. A lot of changes for this BYU team uh, looking ahead to 2023. You see, you probably know this, you probably don't know this, but they're going to go to the Big 12 Conference heading into this year, along with other newcomers in the Big 12. You know, of course, we'll do BYU today. Like I said yesterday, we're doing BYU today. We'll do Cincinnati tomorrow. Then we'll do UCF on Wednesday, and then Thursday we're going to do Houston. And then we'll end things out with the projections here on Thursday. So we got four, four remaining teams to go here in these projected record videos. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this series and everything. But, again, we're starting with BYU BYU here as a newcomer of the Big 12. Again, 8-5 and five season last year for this BYU team in 2022, 8-4 in the regular season. Uh, here's their schedule for 2023. You look at who they'll play in the non-conference. They'll play Sam Houston and Southern Utah. Uh, they'll get both of those games to start out the year on September 2nd and September 9th. Then they'll play Arkansas as well out of the SEC, and that one will be on the road. Uh, they played them last year, so that will be a road game this time uh, for BYU. So a pretty tough non-conference schedule with Arkansas there on the schedule. Um, of course, you know they are going to be almost playing every single Big 12 team on this schedule. So let's go game by game now for this BYU team. Again, they'll start their season off with three non-conference games here, but two cupcake games here to start out the year in the month of September. They'll play Sam Houston and Southern Utah. Should be two easy wins for BYU. And then they'll play that game against Arkansas on the road on September 16th. That's a very tricky road game there on September the 16th. Arkansas was a pretty decent team last year, but they really, you know, maybe were kind of a downfall, to be honest. But, you know, that will be a tough road game there. And they'll also play back-to-back -back road games here to be in the month of September. They'll play Candace to open up Big 12 play here on September 23rd. Those are going to be back-to-back -back road games there with Arkansas and Candace. Then they'll play Cincinnati here on a Friday on September 29th. Uh, Cincinnati, one of those newcomers in the Big 12. They'll get a bye week after playing that game. They'll play TCU here on the road on October the 14th after that. Then they'll play Texas Tech here on October the 21st at home. That'll be a home game for them on October the 21st. Then they'll play Texas on the road on October 28th. That's going to be a tough road game there. And then, of course, they'll play West Virginia here on the road as well. So they get back-to-back -back road games here in the Big 12 with Texas and West Virginia. Those are not really Bad back-to-back -back road games. Uh, Texas will be their really toughest test, though, but you never know about West Virginia. Sometimes it could be a sneaky good team. Then they'll play Iowa State at home. Then they'll play Oklahoma at home as well on November 18th. So they'll get both of these games at home against Iowa State and Oklahoma. Then they'll end things out here with Oklahoma State here on November 25th. So the schedule overall is pretty tough for BYU. Of course, you have to play TCU, Texas Tech, and Texas all on this schedule. I think the good news is you don't have to play Candace, or, um, Candace State or um, you know Baylor on this schedule. But you do have to play TCU, Texas Tech, and Texas, uh, one of those top three or top four teams in the Big 12 from last year. And then, of course, you got um, one newcomer on the schedule, and that's only Cincinnati. No UCF or Houston or, of course, you know, yeah, no Houston or, no Houston or UCF on this schedule. But again, the schedule overall pretty tough, especially with Arkansas in the non-conference. So let's now get to the projected record for this BYU team. And this is the scale we use for our project projections. If it's a 1% game, these are games where BYU has no chance of winning 20% in the orange. These are games where are going to be under or a couple touchdowns of underdogs. 40% uh, in the yellow, these are games where they're going to be heavy underdogs in about, about a touchdown. 50-50 games, these will stay in the white. Games where they can go either way. 60% in the purple. They're going to be favored by at least a touchdown. Then 80%, they'll be favored by double digits, about a couple touchdowns. And then 90%, these are the easy wins here uh, for BYU by more than three touchdowns. Let's start with the easy wins here for BYU on this schedule. And I think you got two of those, Sam Houston and Southern Utah. I think both of these games you can favor BYU by more than three touchdowns. Uh, they have no business to lose both of these games, both at home and also cupcake games to start out the month of September. 
Um, you know, it would be a really big shock if, if BYU did lose both of these games and started out 0-2 on the season. But I think overall, overall BYU should start out 2-0 on the year. And they also have a really good shot to start out 3-0 and if they do defeat Arkansas on the road. So it's really possible they could start out 3-0. and But that Arkansas game uh, will be a tough one there on the road. But I think they should take care of business in both of these games against Sam Houston and Southern Utah. I don't have any blue or purple games on this schedule for BYU, just how tough the schedule is. But I don't have any red games either on this schedule. Because really, I don't think BYU on this schedule will get, any, will, will get blown out in any of these games. So let's go to the games now where they're going to be about a couple touchdowns of underdogs in the orange, about 20%. And I think you got one game on that schedule, and that's Arkansas. Arkansas on the road will be especially a tough non-conference game. I know um, Arkansas was just 6-6 six and six last year in the regular season, but this is still, I think, a really well-motivating Arkansas team. Uh, we know how Sam Pittman really motivates this team a lot, so I think this will be really a tough road test here for BYU. Plus, BYU loses a lot of production um, heading into this year, but I think you know they'll still compete in this game. Like I said, it could switch to a 40% game, maybe a 50-50 game by the time we do those predictions in a couple months, so... But don't sleep on this game. If you're a BYU fan, I think you do have a really good shot to beat Arkansas, no doubt about it. Uh, let's go to the games now where BYU is going to be about a 40% underdog and also a touchdown underdog and also a heavy underdog. And I think you got three of those on the schedule. TCU and Texas both on the road and then Oklahoma here at home. TCU and Texas, I know they're in the yellow. It should really Both of these games should be in the orange, but... I think, you know, BYU can compete with both of these teams. I think TCU heading into this year is kind of overrated. Uh, maybe they were overrated last year, but I think, you know, BYU will have a really good shot to maybe pull off the upset on the road. You never know. Uh, Texas, I think, coming into this year, a lot of people are hyping them up. I mean, they could be overrated, but I think BYU can really compete in this one. But the question is, how good will BYU be in their first year in the Big 12? But like I said, these things could switch around to maybe a 20% game uh, for both of these road games. And then Oklahoma here. This is a very winnable game for BYU. Oklahoma went 6-7 and seven last year, but... Also, this is just based off of where the teams were from last year as well. So BYU did make it to a bowl game last year, and they were quite decent enough. So if they were going to really play these games today, they would really have a big shot to beat them. So I think all three of these games, you can put BYU as a heavy underdog for right now in all three of these games of the Big 12. And plus, Texas and Oklahoma, they're leaving for the SEC in 2024. So it's really good for BYU to really play these teams before they head to a different conference. But the rest of the games here for BYU on this schedule are all 50-50 games. They got a lot of 50-50 games on the schedule. Kansas, Cincinnati, Texas Tech, West Virginia, Iowa State, and Oklahoma State. I think all these games are 50-50 games. They can go either way. Um, these are all very winnable games as well, especially with Candace on the road. I think that's their best possible chance on the road. And then West Virginia and Oklahoma State. What if they win all these games in the white? That would be just something. That would be a really good season for BYU. But I think they do lose some of these games in the 50-50 games. But as of right now, these are very winnable games for BYU. So I'm kind of expecting them, you know, to compete in all these games in the white. And they're very winnable. So, but we don't know, again, we don't know how good this BYU team will be in their first year of the Big 12. So let's now get to the projected record for this BYU team. So if you look at the schedule, like my, like I said, this is not my official prediction. This is simply a projection based on this schedule. If you look at the games that they're favored in, also the games that they're underdogs in, especially that one game in the orange, and you got three of those games in the yellow. And then you count the 50-50 games. You get an overall projected record for this BYU team at 5-7 for 2023. 5-7 is, I think, mid-case scenario for this team. But this it, it's very possible BYU can go 6-6. Six and six. I mean, 7-5 and five is also possible. I think BYU is really good enough to go maybe 6-6 six and six and also 7-5. and five, But it's just really it's going to depend on how good they're going to be in their first year in the Big 12. I don't think Cincinnati, BYU, UCF, or Houston are all going to be that great in their first year. But you never know about it. Maybe they could surprise a little bit. But if they if BYU goes 4-8 and eight on the year, that would just kind of be a big disappointment for this BYU team. But we can understand why Big 12 is really a tough conference to play in. So... But again, 5-7 and seven is my overall projected record for this BYU team as of right now. Um, like I said, we'll do... Um 
Houston, UCF, and Cincinnati all throughout the rest of this week. We'll do Cincinnati tomorrow, UCF on Wednesday, and then we'll do Houston. And then we'll end things out with the projected record videos um, for this offseason before we do, do those predictions in the month of May. But let me guys know what you think about this BYU team. What do you think their worst-case scenario is in 2023? And also, what do you think their best-case scenario is for 2023? And stay tuned here for more sports content on the Lucas Ross Sports Channel.